Alright guys, so I just thought I'd make a quick video on um, how to remove some uh, undercoating from a car I'm working on. This is a Datsun 260Z. So uh, one of the methods that people use, you can use like a needler gun, which is a pneumatic, and it works pretty good. Um, uh, it just leaves behind a lot of residue. Um, see this is pretty clean here actually, there's not a lot of a lot of stuff left on it, a little bit, but I mean, yeah. So the method I'm using here is actually dry ice. And dry ice, it can get a little bit expensive um, if you're buying like a lot of it, but you only need a little bit. This is 10 pounds, which is about 12 bucks. So uh, it works pretty good. And uh, basically what you're doing is just making the, um, the undercoating brittle and then you can just hammer it off basically, so. It's kind of cool. But anyway, uh, so what you're going to do, let me just get up here on the cart, alright. So what you do, just take it, push it to where you want to, some of this undercoating, I'm sure there's some falling down, down there. But then what you do, um, let's see if we can find a spot with it. So here, a spot with some undercoating right there. Okay, so, so there's some undercoating right there. And here's what's been stripped off. Just take, give it a few good whacks. You'll see that it basically just chips right off. And there you go. Nice and clean, no undercoating. So it's really that simple. So that's one way to remove undercoating. Now, if you don't mind taking the time to leave some dry ice on your car, so just one more way to do it. So, alright, guys, good luck.